Hello people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and if you have got a lot of the same type of item and you either need or want to reduce them down but you don't know where to start then this might help you because I was really challenged recently to tackle my coat collection once and for all and despite being ruthless with lots of other areas in my home the coats had gone under the radar because I didn't want to reduce them but equally I was so sick and fed up of having no space for them and having a battle on my hands every time I tried to get one out of the wardrobe that I knew I needed to sort it out and it didn't actually sit well with me to have so many of the same item when I also know that there were so many people without so um, I needed a starting point because I was struggling if I was honest and the starting point for me came with this book colour me confident which I've talked about before that has all the colours that are perfectly suited for individual skin tones and on the back of that I was able to pull out several coats straight away where the colours did absolutely nothing for me and I grouped my coats into categories to try and make the cull an easier process which it, it, it actually ended up not being not only being very easy but very quick um, and I put all my coats into for example all my full length coats together leather jackets together rain and winter coats together medium length coats together and these were only some of the coats that I owned and I looked at them in smaller groups and thought for example if I'd got to keep only one of my full length coats which one would I keep um, and I opted for the light grey one which is a better colour for me and a better style um, and that's how I started to reduce it down also so looking at coats that no longer fitted me that were very shabby that uh, didn't suit me anymore because my style has changed over the years and the bit where I kind of hit a little bit of a brick wall was when I got to a core group at the end and I really was stuck and I thought I don't quite know how to reduce these down any further um, and I asked my husband honestly which ones he liked and I trust his judgment and to my surprise some of the coats that I always thought he liked and I liked he went you know darling they don't do anything for you and I thought well okay that makes that easier <laughs> oh dear so if you ask a friend be prepared to accept their um their honest opinion but the other thing I did was ultimately look at the remaining coats and think are they earning a valuable place in what is a very small home are they actually earning their keep and the coats that I have absolutely cherished, some of them for over 20 years, I realised that I have cherished them, I do love them, but I don't wear them. And um, I let them go. And I'd much rather actually save my pennies and perhaps buy myself a coat in the future that I am going to love and wear all the time. But the biggest shocker was I donated on the very first call 17 coats, 17 coats that have been filling up my space for years and I can't even remember which ones they were. I actually have to look at the photographs that I took to remind myself self which ones I let go of so if that isn't proof that we really don't need to hang on to stuff I don't know what is but anyway you can apply that principle to other areas of your home if you've got a load of homeware um, decorative items toys books photos whatever it may be but I hope that helps and if you are overwhelmed it is often more a case of thinking do you want the stuff or the space do you want the clutter or the clarity and um, it's the latter in every case for me so massive love to you as always if you are overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can we all deserve to lead a clutter free life physically and emotionally and until next time as always now I'm going to get a cup of tea